Martin, tough afternoon at the office for the lads. Uh, yeah, definitely. You know, um, we knew what what Halifax was gonna was gonna bring. You know, and uh, I think it was important we try to try to match them. But unfortunately, I think we was left wanting in, in nearly enough every department today. I know a lot of the pre-match talk was about Denton and trying to keep him quiet, trying to stop the supply to him. And the first real ball that came into the box after 18 minutes, you found yourselves a goal down. Yeah, you know that's that's the, the disappointing thing at the moment. We we just seem to be making individual errors at times, and we're getting punished. Um, you know, I think Haggers maybe slipped. Um, ball comes into the box, and you know, we've got two just to to hopefully try and deal with Dents, and he gets in between the two of us, and obviously heads it home. And then obviously 1-0 down at half-time, still very much in the game. But then Alex Simmons doubled Halifax lead 22 seconds into the half and presumably everything you and Dennis had said at half-time went out the window. Yeah, yeah, of course, obviously, you know, what what Gaffer says at half-time, then it's it's start again, really. But, you know, we still feel that we've still got 40 minutes to play, you know, and we want to see a bit more urgency from the group. You know, if we're down to 2-0 and we... We've got 40 minutes to play. How can we respond? How can we rally? How can we get back into the game? How can we spark something to create something? And we did, you know, we ended up getting back into the game. And for probably 10 minutes spell, spell then, you know, we we respond. But um, and just once again, we give a sloppy third away and it's it's game over. I run at your best spell, perhaps, with, with 10 men. Once that goal had gone in, you. Had them pen back for a few minutes and they were panicking. Yeah, yeah. I think um, I thought this, uh, you know I thought Wade and, and Clippy made a good impact when they came on. You know that's what we want from the boys. You know the lads who come off the bench, we want them to come on and have an impact. And I thought I thought them two showed that um, and uh, you know made things happen really. What's the focus on this week now? Getting back on the training ground Tuesday and Thursday and and working on what's gone. Working on the points that have got you some results over recent weeks. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, we've got a regroup. We've just, you know, we've had a chat in there uh, between us, and uh, who things have been said, which they need to be said, and uh, we'll go meet up again on Tuesday. You know, boys will go away this weekend and, and have a have a have a good think about things, and uh, we'll regroup on Tuesday and look to to move on to Saturday. And you've got injuries and suspensions now, but thankfully your captain Nat Brown looks like he's finally ready to return and that, that should galvanise the lads because he's been a big miss. Definitely, you know, um, I think we've missed Nat obviously more than any any player that possibly we could have missed. Um, his leadership qualities, his experience, um, you know, is, is vital to us. So that's that's a positive, you know, and uh, that's what we've got to take something from this week is that uh, Brown is going to be back hopefully ready for selection for Saturday.